Oh my God. I can't believe it's been this long since I've even been on this channel. So I'm so stoked to finally be on this channel again. I know it's been outrageously long, but it has to have been that way. It, it had to be that way. Episode. We are going to try to talk. We are going to take apart the uh, Smith and Wesson MMP 2.0, and that will be um, taking apart the uh, barrel the recoil spring, and we're gonna also take off the back plate, and we will also show you how to remove your firing pin. So that way you can completely field strip your gun, so that way you have the cleanest gun, like you just bought it off the showroom floor, so that way it can be like it was brand new again. So, and this is gonna be part one, because on part two, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to completely remove the bottom of the pistol too. So we're gonna you know, rip out the entire lower of the uh, MMP 2.0 on part two. This is just part one. So if you're interested in wanting to know how that one's gonna end up turning out and everything like that, we're not turning out. Who, if you really wanna take it apart, just make sure you hit like, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the post notification so that we don't miss that upload. And if you're a returning subscriber, I apologize. I know it's been a long time Oh God, it's been so long, but now I'm back. So you ain't gonna worry about that. We're gonna try to upload at least once every other week or even sooner than that. So let's just go ahead and dive into this one. So let's go. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and rack it back, release the slide, pull the trigger, and that's how you remove your upper from your lower on the pistol. So on the pistol grip, you want to go ahead and remove the piece that holds the rear grip on. Now for a typical field strip, you'd be taking out your recoil spring along with your barrel. So that would be your typical field strip. But we're not going to do a typical field strip. We're going to go a little bit more advanced. We're gonna go ahead and remove the firing pin, but before you can even remove the firing pin, you have to take the back plate off. Now, in order to do that, if you look closely, see that little plastic piece? You're gonna to have to push down on it and then slide your back plate off. So that's how you remove the back plate. So if you ever wanted to replace this and have something custom, you can do that. So that's how you would you remove the back plate. So in order to remove your firing pin, you're gonna have to push the uh, firing pin release. <clears throat> now your firing pin is out. So these would be your basic parts that you would need to clean when you do a field strip to make sure your gun is gonna be pretty much good. So now we reverse this step put the barrel in, and then you're gonna put your recoil spring in. And now you gotta get to the tricky part. And the tricky part is putting your firing pin back in because sometimes it could be a hassle. So go ahead and put that back into the hole and now you can't get it to go all the way in until you hit the firing pin release button. Now it goes back in. Now in order to put the plate back on, you're gonna have to push down with one finger and take your back plate and push it on. And now this part is a little tricky. It can take a few seconds to get it in there sometimes. Sometimes it goes right in, other times it's kind of a pain. So go ahead and push down. Boom. Now the back plate is back on. Go ahead and put your uh, grip holder back in. Rack it back, close it, functions check. Bam, 